Hey everyone, welcome to another Drupal Studio video. So, this one we're going to be working on redesigning our upgrade shop to be more compatible for upgrades to a better scroll frame. And by the end, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, let's get right into it. So, first of all, you're going to want to navigate to your project and then open up the starter GUI and then open up the shop GUI. Next, you're going to find your frame and your scrolling frame. We're going to delete both of these because we're going to come back to them later. Now, because I don't have any other monitors or anything set up at the moment, I'm going to be referring to this project and my other project. It's just so I can get the right measurements to sort of help you lot out as much as possible. Now, as you can see, in this one here, I've got a shop, but this is all of one image label, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we've got all our other stuff inside of here. This just makes it so much easier, so then we can make it visible like this all in one go. I recommend you do follow this to this tutorial because it will dramatically improve your UI and everything. And anyway, I'll, I'll show you how we can make a start. So first things first is you want to go over to your shop UI, click this little plus and you hover over it. And add an image label. We're going to rename this with F2 or right click and rename. I'm just going to call this shop. Now you'll see we've got this square which we can drag around. Now, you lock can place this wherever you want, put it whatever size you want, although you want to make sure that if you're doing your own sizes, make sure you open up size, open up X and Y, and rather than change it, because whenever you move it, uh, change the size, sorry, it changes the offset and rather than the scale, so make sure you just set the scales to zero, uh, not sorry, no, sorry, the offset to zero on the size, but we're not going to be doing that just for now, or we're going to use our own measurements. Okay, so... The measurements I'm using here for the position are, I'm just going to actually copy and paste them in and I will explain it. So let me just do that for the sake of time. So for the position, under the X you're going to have scale 0 0.299. This is what I do anyway, you lot can do whatever you want as long as the offset is 0 and then offset is 0. My Y, the scale is 0 0.144 and the offset is 0. Right, so into the shop, we're going to click on the add over, after hovering over it, and we're going to type in scrolling, and then click on scrolling frame. This is a frame that you can move up and down with your mouse cursor, or just, you know, lift it up and down. Uh, place it wherever you want, I'm going to tell you the dimensions I'll be using. Of course, if you've used your own custom positions, then make it your own. Just remember, use off, um, scale, not offset for the size. But here's what I'm going to show you. So if I open up my project here, and then go to the scrolling frame position if I copy and paste it over and I can explain it for this position here we have x 0 0 for everything and the y the scale is 0 0.118 and the offset is 0 and for the size it is just gonna be 1 on the x so let me open that up so x is what scale 1 offset 0 and y is scale 0 0.882 offset 0 this gives you this nice thing here, this nice sort of scrolling frame. And next, obviously, we're going to want to get our contents, but I'll show you that in a minute. Now we just sort of want to go with our sort of properties of this. So if I go background transparency here and make that one, as you can see, that's nice. And next, uh, we can change our scroll bar thickness. I'm just going to leave that as it is. We can change our transparency for the scroll bar, which obviously if you do that, it's harder to see. But that's not what I'm interested in. One thing we can do is go to our border size pixel and make that zero. And that will get rid of this little line here, so this makes it look a lot nicer. Then we can go to our scroll bar image color, and we can make this say white. Although I don't like it perfectly white, maybe a diff like that. If I go here, I've got a nice white here, so if I find that, is this is just pure white, actually. Um, and if I just apply that, it's nice. Although, it's a little bit transparent for me, I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't know why mine's like a bit transparent, but it's fine. Mind you then, no, they're not transparent at all, it's just this blending in. Right, next we're going to want to work on our header. So, that is um, this bit here. 
So for this, we're going to want to add in a text label into our shop, not our scrolling frames. Click the add and text label. And we can just rename this header. And for the position on this, we're going to want on the x, we are going to want an offset of 0 and a scale of 0 0.309. And I believe for the y, and oh yeah, and then for the y, so I forgot about the y. You're going to want a scale of minus 0 0.003 and an offset of 0. Sorry everyone, that was a bit weird. My computer just stopped responding to my uh, microphone for some reason. Sorry, there. Don't know what happened there. Um... That was a bit weird. Uh, so, sorry, I was saying something, I forgot now. I was just saying, um... Okay, now I was, gonna, I was about to talk about the size. So, for the size, we are going to want... If I paste this in. For size, we want an X off scale of 0 0.377. Offset 0. Y scale 0 0.1 offset 0. And that's basically that. Then our background transparency is going to be 1. And then we're going to go down to text scaled and click that. And we're just going to call this shop. Uh, I've spelled that wrong. Uh, yeah, or more specifically upgrade shop. I'm going to make this color, if I go to text color here, I'm going to make that white. And then it is already scaled, but I'm going to change it a bit. So if I go to the font here, and then I can customise the font. So I'm going to go Source Sans Bold, because it just looks really nice. 